1984 was a terrible year for India. Three events all related, Operation Blue Star in June, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's assassination in October and the mass killing of six in November tore apart the democratic and secular fabric of the country. It started in Amritsar. Operation Blue Star was carried out by the Indian Army to flush out militants from the Golden Temple in Amritsar, the holiest shrine of the Sikh community. With terrorists holed up within the shrine, the army was brought in. What followed was a conflict that left scores dead. Estimates are that around 200 soldiers and over a thousand militants died. This included extremist leader Jarnail Singh Bindrawale and many civilians. Tragically, the assault on the Golden Temple coincided with the martyrdom anniversary of Guru Arjan Dev, the sixth Guru of the Sikhs, on the 3rd of June. A large number of pilgrims from all over Punjab had gathered in the Golden Temple on the occasion. So what led to Operation Blue Star? Jarnail Singh Bindrawale was a fiery young Sikh preacher and leader of a religious seminary at Damdami Taksal, not far from Amritsar. He encouraged Sikhs to return to the roots of their Khalsa faith and demanded a separate homeland of Khalistan if the discrimination against Sikhs didn't end. Bindrawale rose to prominence in 1978 after instigating a clash between radical Sikhs and the Nirankaris in Amritsar, resulting in the death of 15 people. The Nirankaris were a minority sect within Sikhism and Bindrawale considered them heretics. Sikh militancy in Punjab took a dangerous turn following this clash. Bindrawale grew more and more angry with the Indian government and with the Hindu community after Prime Minister Indira Gandhi dismissed the Shiromani Akali Dal government in Punjab. To fundamentalist Sikhs, this iterated their belief that they were being discriminated against by the Indian government. Another bone of contention was the government's refusal to grant statehood to Punjab. This was a demand made by the Akali Dal, which was pursuing a religion and language-based political agenda. Punjab was finally given statehood in 1966, but the Akali Dal was unable to corner the Sikh vote. To galvanize the Sikh vote, the Akali Dal adopted the controversial Anandpur Sahib Resolution in 1973, demanding that Chandigarh and Punjabi-speaking areas in Haryana be handed over to Punjab. It also demanded full autonomy for the state. More controversially, the resolution identified Sikhs as a separate nation. So to divide the Sikhs and keep the Akali Dal in check, experts believe that Indira's son, Sanjay Gandhi, was covertly supporting Bindrawale. As a result, the competitive religious politics of the Akali Dal and Bindrawale radicalized Sikh youth and encouraged secessionism. It wasn't long before Bindrawale emerged as a Frankenstein monster who challenged the might of the Indian state through armed insurgency. Then, in 1980, the All India Sikh Students Federation proclaimed the formation of Khalistan, a separate Sikh state, at a meeting in the Golden Temple complex. They even elected London-based separatist leader Jagjit Singh Chauhan as its president. Bindrawale immediately stepped up terrorist activities, starting with the assassination of Nirankari leader Baba Gurcharandas. In 1981, Lala Jagat Narayan, editor of a popular Punjabi newspaper, was killed. Bindrawale was linked to both killings. The violence continued and in April 1983, a senior Sikh police officer, A.S. Atwal, was gunned down outside the Golden Temple. After this, Bindrawale moved into the Akal Takht, the temporal seat of Sikhism within the Golden Temple complex. 
Now communal violence began to spin out of control, with Hindus being dragged out of buses and trains and killed in Punjab. In retaliation, six were killed in Haryana. There was no let up and communal tensions grew stronger. Finally, in early 1984, to prevent Punjab from falling into further chaos, the Indian government decided that Bindramale had to be brought to justice. By now, Bindramale had turned the Golden Temple complex into a military fortress. It was home to militants carrying AK-47 rifles and light machine guns. A retired Major General, Shabeg Singh, a decorated officer who was in the limelight during the Bangladesh War, was an advisor to Bindravale. He was also the brain behind the fortification of the Golden Temple. At first, Indira Gandhi was not in favour of sending the army into the Golden Temple, but she gave the go-ahead when she was convinced that there was no other option. The operation was codenamed Blue Star. Lieutenant General Krishnaswamy Sundarji was asked to plan the operation and Major General K.S. Brar was to execute it. The operation began on the 1st of June 1984. Curfew was imposed across Punjab and all modes of communications, including the media, were shut down. On the first night of the operation itself, army commandos were gunned down by terrorists firing from strategically positioned hideouts in the Golden Temple. The army used machine guns, light artillery, rockets and eventually battle tanks. The Akal Takht was severely damaged and the Golden Temple bore bullet marks despite the army's efforts to protect the sanctity of the shrine. Bindravale was killed in a gun battle on the 6th of June and his body recovered from the Akal Takht. Operation Blue Star had flushed out militants from the Golden Temple complex, but it enraged six worldwide. Operation Blue Star was a turning point. It also set the stage for other cataclysmic events, one of which was the assassination of Indira Gandhi.